me. Yeah, Reese's peanut butter cups. Take a sip from your soul on a metaphysical milkshake. I'm really sorry, Joe, that it is so hot in this van. Yeah, it's really this hot. This is going to thank you. Make you look a lot less good. Shiny. Shiny. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Puff. A little puff. Wait, I think you missed a spot. Yeah. Thank you. Just there on the, oh, yeah. the edges of yeah, the nose. I do well. up there. Yeah. I do up around my nostrils. Okay. Welcome to the back of my van. Thanks, man. When's the last time you were in the back of someone's van? <clears throat> that's kind of a private Yeah. A private matter. Right. I know that's kind of a painful story for you. <laughs> I just thought we'd start the interview that way. That's cool. You could go anywhere. Where would you like to go? The Sahara. That makes sense since we're sort of sweaty in here. That makes total sense. Right. You know, some of those sand dunes are as old as, uh... Human civilization. Older. Camels. <laughs> Camels freak me out. Really? They're scary. I think they're so cute. They're not cute. They're like covered, they got matted hair and giant weird lips and mucus. You just want and, Disney like, camels. I want Disney camels. <laughs> yeah. Is that so wrong? Yeah. Life's big questions. Is there such a thing as an original idea? As an original idea? That's a good question. Have they all been used up? <clears throat> My point of view would be that either every idea is original or none of them are. That all of us are completely unique people. Mm -hmm. And so anything that you say or do is original in that it's unique to you. Mm -hmm. And no one's ever said it like you said it. That's true. Um, and in that way, everything's original. Mm -hmm. But in another way, you're a combination of what you've heard. You know, Romeo and Juliet. Shakespeare didn't come up with that. So he was doing remixes Disney, absolutely. back in the 1600s. Everybody always was. That's how I think creativity has always been. Plus, I think people get discouraged a lot mm -hmm. because they're like, I want to write something, but it's all been done before. And like, I had this idea, but it's too much like that. And it's, a, it's yeah. a, you can use it as an excuse. And sabotage yourself that yeah, way. Yeah. But every, so every idea has been recycled or remixed yeah. um, or collaged in some way, shape, or form That's already. What That's what I think. Sorry, dude. No, thanks. So tell me about Hit Record. I've been acting my whole life, but I had stopped. And uh, I wanted to start again, but no one really wanted to give me a job. Sure, and you were coming uh, off of uh, Third, Third Rock, Rock from, from the, the Sun. sun. And I was so like, you were like, oh, do... he's the goofy kid from Third Rock. Yeah, the we sun. can put you in a pilot, lickety split, you'll make millions of dollars. I was like, yeah, but I want to do like cool little movies. And they were like, <laughs> what? You know, no, yeah. one, no one really wanted to hear that. Um, and I sort of came to the conclusion that I, I couldn't, uh, I had to take responsibility for my own ability to be creative and make stuff. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't going to just wait around for someone else to tell me that I could. Mm -hmm. And so I'd always played with little cameras and, and four track recording machines and things like that when mm -hmm. I was growing up. Mm -hmm. And so uh, the symbol of that record button became this metaphor for me of mm -hmm. me being the one to push it and start it. Cause that's, I think oftentimes the hardest part of any creative process is just getting going. Just starting. Yeah, just getting like when started. you're writing, you just got that blank the page. The blank page, exactly, yeah. the blank page. My brother, you know, helped me set up this little rinky dink website called hitrecord.org. We put a little, you know, prefab message board on there where I just uploaded a few quick time videos that I had made. And soon it wasn't just about the little videos that I made, but people and I were sort of collaborating together. I was like, this is really cool. How, do, just pe how do people good. collaborate on Hit Record? Like, just what's an example of that? Well, say someone posts a short story that they wrote. Mm -hmm. Then I like it. And I'll go, oh, I like that. All right, I'll. I'll record myself reading a voiceover of their short story. Oh, cool, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because everybody's allowed to remix everybody else's stuff. It's not like you put your own thing up and you're like, don't touch this, it's mine, just admire it. The whole point of Hit Record is if you put it up there, anybody can do whatever they want with it. That's awesome. It's, it's remix, it's collaborative remix. Mm -hmm. All right, let's just take a little sweaty break. <laughs> Lightning round, what is your favorite candy? Chocolate. Who is your hero? Rain Wilson. Good. Do you pray? Sure. What is your favorite word? Democratization. List five pieces of art that give you an artgasm. Alphaville, that's a movie. Revolver, that's an album. Franny and Zoe, that's a book. The Matrix, that's another movie. Looney Tunes. Very nice. Okay, YouTubers, uh, Joe and I wrote down something that we learned this summer that blew our minds. Joe, what did you write down? Well, I was just watching uh, Planet Earth. Love that. There's certain trees in the, in the California redwood forests living trees that have been alive so long, individual ones, yeah. 
that they are older than the Alps. Older than mountains in the Alps. That's crazy. Like one living guy, one tree. I've been thinking about this one a lot. I am more than my body, thoughts, and feelings. And when I think about that, it allows me to transcend just a little bit mm -hmm. my normal material corporal existence. Uh -huh. It gives me some real perspective. So, one, two, three. Ah! Blue our minds. <laughs> Get it? Blue our minds. Okay, uh, YouTube generation, here's what you're gonna do. Do the same thing. Write down something that you learned that blew your mind this summer on a balloon and pop that balloon into the camera, upload your video right here. I'm gonna watch all of them. I'm gonna get Joe to watch all of them. I'd love to hear what you learned this summer. Older than the Alps. <laughs> <laughs> Mother. It's loud. <laughs> that scared the <laughs> out of me. That should be like the bumper that you use for this segment. <laughs> Soul Pancake, subscribe.